Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to read and simplify the content of a, a command file for hypermesh, especially when dealing with the start set value commands. So let me do some operations here on the Noptistract model. I want to create a property which is a P shell whose name is um, my prop one and I want the thickness to be equal to 2 sorry and I want to point on the material so from here I will right click create the material which is a matte one which is uh, let's say uh, steel and I want the e-modulus to be defined such as um, or at least the new, the density and the thermal expansion, etc. For instance, um, um, let me close this. So now, if we look at the command file, we see that, and let's start with scrolling it from um, the end. We see that we have some modification of the material. We can grab the material. We see that we have a definition of property from the material from the property. And we start with my property. So we start with this entity, start create entity property. So let me pick these lines in a, um, sorry, in a um, file here. Uh, so this will be Sorry, control N, I will pick a new one here, new one here. So this is my original one. So now let's look at what is interesting for me. I have this one first, create entity. Okay, I need to keep it. Um, just let me put it uh, so that I can see it also. Um, then what is interesting for me is this two value. Okay. Set value name prop one. So here basically we say we change the name. And it seems I made a mistake because I didn't change the property or agent here. Okay, but let's say that I want the name to be my property one. My prop one. So what I just just do is remove this. And then what I have is this line so I can remove this then I change my thickness so I can change this value and uh, here there are two points that I frequently change the first one is about the way I call the ID instead of having calling it through the property ID which I don't have or which I need to request what I can do is basically say Okay, I want to use the name instead of my uh, ID and status one is something you don't need to change I can keep it and 95 is the attribute ID of sickness uh, which is fine from a coding point of view uh, but from a human point of view for an understanding of the macro this does not help one way you can do uh, for retrieving the attributes is uh, to go in back into hypermesh, sorry, um, and look for control F matrix browser. And if you go to the matrix browser, you can ask for HM data properties. You can query a property. So for instance, you can pick this P shell, okay, validate, and you'll see that if you go to the properties, then you have the data names, the attributes that are available, and inside this one, if you look at query for the thickness, you will retrieve the thickness. So the name, the attribute name is thickness. So here, instead of 95, I can ask for thickness. And then what I can do is to continue, so this is fine. Then I have created a material. Okay. 
then I change the name of the material which is name equals steel so let me use this one instead of steel okay and what is important here is then I assign this material to the property so again I will use name my prop one and here I need material ID so let's say that I want set mat ID and I will use the square brackets hm get value it allows to look for any attributes of an entity so material I will look for name equals steel and data name equal id and then here I can call dollar mat id and now I can use I can define the value so I can define my young modulus I can define uh, my position and define the density and I can define the thermal coefficient and what I can even do so if I look at mat material so let me come back to hypermesh let me uh, query HM data materials query uh, I want to pick this material okay validate and for this one what I want is E uh, you see that I have the mat 1a and we will retrieve later on the new and the row so it should be e new row and mat 1a uh, sorry mm, what did I do wrong um, mat 1 score a and if you're not sure you can at any time you can ask for new row it control to get them all a and e and say query and you retrieve your information so this is fine and what I can even do as they share the same status is that is to say that I want new to be defined here I want row to be defined And I want mat A1 to be defined and this in the same line. So I can remove and again I prefer to work with names rather than IDs. So I will define it in this way. So let me undo everything here. Uh, so you see that I have 34 lines and now I have 6 lines only. So control A, control C. So let me go to my model um, let me remove official material delete let me go to view tcl console and uh, let me control v here i have my material again with steel and all the information so yeah this is what i wanted to show you today quickly how to clean up the content for your command.tcl in order to make your script more readable by anyone uh, looking at your script. So thank you everyone, have a good day.